Hello friends, my name is Akanksha. Welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Guru. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In my last video, I taught you how to create tables in MS Word. In today's video, we will learn how to change structure of your table in MS Word. So let's start it. So first of all, I click on start button. Then I click on Word 2013. Then I create a blank document. Right now I insert a table in it. I choose four columns and five rows. This is a simple table. Now we will learn how can we change the structure of this table. So consider I want just first uh, I want just one column in my first row. So I select these four columns. Then I go to layout option and there is an option merge cells. Now look here friends there is only one column. It means I have merged the four columns here. Now I can give any heading here. For example I give a heading question paper. Now I want to central align, central align it. So I click on this. And I go to alignment option, click on center. Now, in the first column, I can decrease its width from here. I write here question 1. Now, it is possible that in some questions we have some subparts. If I want to give some subparts, I can click here and I can write number one number two and number three right and I can merge these two columns like this now I can write answer the following questions and number of marks can be written here I can give three marks right now there are only five rows in my table how can I increase the rows to increase number of rows put your cursor in the last cell and press the tab key from the keyboard tab tab key I press the tab keys again and again in this way I can increase the number of rows or I can do go to layout option and click on insert below Right. In this way, I can increase the number of rows. For example, now I have a question in which I want two different columns. Right, Match the following. And I want to give some parts here and some this part, this side. So I can split the cell in two different columns. Click the cursor in this column. Then I go to split cells. And I choose two columns. Now look. My one cell has been divided into two different cells. In this way. I can split the cells. So merge means combining two or more cells in one. And split means dividing one cell in more than one option right so in this way we can create any structure that we want now sometimes we don't want to show the table border we just want the content and we don't want to show the border so how can I hide it it is very simple just select your table go to home option and from this option borders option choose no border right now look here the border is converted into this dotted border but if I print my page this border will not be printed so in this way I can print my text without border but in some computers you will not find this dotted border so how can I find it again select the table Go to layout option and there is an option view grid lines. 
Now look here, there is no border available. It seems like I have typed my document simply without any table. But actually table is here. How can I see it? Again click on this option. In the layout go to view grid lines. Now the table border is available. Right? One more thing, text direction. I can change the direction of the text in any cell. For example, I put my cursor here. I go to text direction. Now see, it is changing the direction of the text. Right? So whatever option suits you, you can choose the option from here. Right? So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please click on the like, share and subscribe button. Thank you.